So welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to do a video and to be honest with you, I've actually had this device for quite a while right now and I was kind of waiting to see if I was even gonna do a video on it. So what I have in my hands right here is an outdoor router. So what this is, is a cellular router kind of all in one. Instead of having one inside and having to run a wire outside, purchase external antennas. Supposedly this has everything out there outside of the home, outside of the metal shop that well blocks your signal and then you run one wire inside to a Wi-Fi router and broadcast your internet out. So I had quite a few of you notice this on NetBuddy's website. I've worked with them in the past, asked if I was gonna be reviewing this. Just so happens I've had it a while. What's taken me a while to get to this point is NetBuddy recently went through a transition or a change with their business model. And I was just waiting to see how people were treated, how things were handled, if people were, you know, keeping their internet. So that transition's over. They're still offering internet service. They've got details on their website for, they did have to drop AT&T at the time. They're showing how you can put an AT&T card in the router that you already own. They've got all the instructions there. So I was very happy to see those instructions pop up. Just so happens in my area, T-Mobile has happens to be the best internet coverage that I have. So I've got a T-Mobile SIM in this right now. As you can see, I haven't installed it. I don't know how good it is. Let's pop it up. Let's run a wire into the shop. I desperately need internet out here in the shop. I've got solar equipment now that has Wi-Fi connectivity. I bring laptops out here and I may just want to pop a TV up one day. I stream podcast out here. I listen to music. I'm starting to find a need for some more reliable internet out here. I'm in a metal shop, so I lose signal. I get signal back from the house. I lose it, I get it back. And if it's cold and I've got the doors rolled down, well, there's no signal out here. Obviously nothing's coming through metal walls. So that's where we're at. Let's see if this outdoor router uh, works as well as what I have in the house, because if it does, well, this would be about half the cost of my setup at the house because you don't have to buy those external antennas. All right, so let me show you what I've done here. It's a very simple process. Just brought my wire in from outside. That's a 25 foot ethernet cable that I had to purchase. It does not come with it. I got it coiled up right here. This uses what is called power over ethernet, PoE right there. That's the side the cable going out to the router uses. And that's what powers the router up. The other side is your ethernet output that goes to a Wi-Fi router. Finally got one of these in, got lost in the mail forever. So you'll just set that up. The outdoor unit is broadcasting the internet into your Wi-Fi, and then that broadcasts it out over the shop. I've got everything loosely put up here because I gotta permanently mount it later. I'm about to do some ventilation out of my solar equipment room down here, and I don't know where I wanna put everything just yet. Okay, so for starters, you look up the top right, I'm showing 4G LTE. And by the way, I have a cell phone booster on the wall over there. So we're gonna read, run a speed test through that cell phone booster. So just know it would typically be a whole lot worse than this. I used to get like one meg down here and 0.7 up when I did not have a cell booster. So if you look at that, that's actually probably the best I have ever got, of course. <laughs> just the way it goes. So 20 down. And like I said, if I could turn that cell booster off, I guarantee I'll be back around one. All right, so I'm connected to the Wi-Fi router on the inside, which is connected to the outdoor router outside. Let's see how fast it is. Oh, wow. Um, holy smokes, y'all. This is just as fast as my indoor router that has $400 worth of antennas added to it. Huh. 68 megs down. Holy smokes. For us out here in the country, y'all, that's fast. Trust me. Let's test one more time. That is just crazy. I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. We're going in the 70s. 73, I seen. Are you kidding? 74. Bumping 75 there a second ago. What? 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 Okay, we have real internet out here at the shop. We have faster internet at the shop now than I do inside. 
for half the price. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Huh. All right, I'll have to admit, I was not expecting that. This thing feels lightweight and I thought kind of cheap to be perfectly honest, but whoa, it's working. So that little thing up there with a, its built-in everything, antennas, modem, everything, is giving me those kind of speeds. Yet over at the house, I have a router that costs as much as that. And on the back side of the house, I have a $400 set of antennas. And I think it's a little faster. I can't say. Let's go inside, run a speed test on my current system that's also using T-Mobile. Just happens to be what's working really good out here. And let's compare them. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I have been so happy with having the internet that I have here. It's been a godsend because we just don't have nothing else available out here. But y'all, you might can save $400 by going with just that setup. Let's see what kind of speed we're getting in the house. Okay, I just connected over to, you can see Wi-Fi up top. Man, it doesn't want to focus, there it goes. So now we're on the house Wi-Fi, the five gigahertz band, which is the fastest band, just like I was out in the shop. Let's see here. All right, so it's going to be almost uh, exactly the same. This is what I consistently see inside, and I'm so pleased with that, y'all, to go from one to two megs down like I used to get to 70 down, and I usually see about 70 up. And for those of y'all that's not familiar with my system, this is one of those nice panel antennas that I have up there in order to boost the signal off my Wi-Fi router inside, my cellular router. And I have a ton of videos on the channel if you want to see that setup. I was not expecting this to be anywhere near as fast as that is. And keep in mind, they're both using T-Mobile. They're both working off the same tower. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Okay, well, feel a little better about it. Like I said, it feels lightweight. It doesn't feel like much. And I'm like, man, is this really worth 400 something, whatever dollars they are on the website? But uh, yeah, now I have real, real internet in the shop which is awesome because we're putting all kinds of solar equipment stuff out here. I'm wanting to put a security system out here, fire monitoring, and my solar equipment actually can check via Wi-Fi too to make sure everything's operational. So I really need good, reliable internet out here. I think I just got it. <laughs> and yes, I had to buy a Wi-Fi router, so I think I spent $60 on that particular one, so you'll have that additional cost there, but you're still talking a few hundred dollars less than the other setup. Now, as far as well, Verizon and AT&T and all, T-Mobile seems to be the best in my area. I don't really have that to test. And I do want to caution everybody, your results are going to vary. You could put one of these in and get way better than me, and there's a good chance you could put one in and get way worse than me. I've tried to tell everybody, use cellmapper.net, go put in the carrier you want to search for, scroll on the uh, map over to your home, see what towers are covering your area. Go through Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile and see if you have any towers pointed and covering your area. If you wanna use an app on your phone, use, an, use uh, the Open Signal app. That's a good one as well to kind of scroll into your area and see what towers are covering you. Man, I don't know what to say. At the moment, yeah, I, I guess I do recommend it, uh, at least from what I'm seeing, long-term reliability, no idea. Can't promise that there. Again, your results are gonna vary. As far as what I've seen with the NetBuddy company that sent me this out, just FYI, letting you know that, um, they're still offering T-Mobile, they're still offering Verizon, AT&T. They now, this was a big request of mine, they now have instructions back on their website. If you wanna purchase any one of their routers that's AT&T compatible, they show where to go buy the card and how to set your router up with some instructions on their website. So, so far, so good. Here's some information. I had quite a few y'all email me, direct message me asking about this outdoor router. Um, it's doing far better than I was expecting, just to be perfectly honest with you. If I have any issues with it, any problems, I will update y'all. I have made tons of videos on this stuff, the good, the bad. I'm open and honest about it. I'm just trying to help people out that struggled just like we have. You live out in the beautiful country where you want to be, but you can't get internet. Oh my goodness. So this is a good option for very affordable 
and fast for us internet without having to go do the $150 a month Starlink stuff and everything else. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was even gonna post this video. I was just testing this out for NetBuddy. They asked me to test it in a rural area, which I did, but seeing the results I just seen, I think I am gonna release this video. If y'all get one, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget, make sure you have coverage in your area before you get a cellular router. You've got to have some sort of cellular signal and then pick the uh, carrier that matches what you have in your area. Catch you on the next video.